Baker on the dark side. Here you are. Can you hear the sizzle? Making our first family recipe for the new year. Happy New Year again. So the recipe that we are making is it's minestrone soup, but I always like to show you the card. So there it is, minestrone soup. Uh, it's in my mom's handwriting. Do I remember it? No. I really think I have no memory anymore. No. My mom did a lot of soups. I don't know if it was particularly this one, but it's there. We're going to make it. <laughs> All right. So I got the boring stuff out of the way. I did all that chopping and everything and the measuring. And there is one pound of ground beef in here. I did 85%. Um, and then there's one cup of diced onion in here. And you brown it. And so I have done that already. So now we are moving on. So let's see, it says uh, you cook it until they're brown. We did that. You wanna see, there it is, it's brown, see? Okay. Um, and then it says, add the rest of the ingredients. Wow. I love it. All right. In no particular order, um, we are adding a teaspoon of thyme. I use fresh. I actually keep my, after I harvest my, um, my herbs, I freeze them. Sometimes I freeze them in olive oil. Sometimes um, I freeze them just right on the stick. Uh, then we are having an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper and five teaspoons of salt. I haven't changed, it's still light salt. <laughs> Mixing that up. I think like minestrone soup is kind of like a like throw whatever kind of things you want in a pot for the most part to make this soup. Kind of a peasant soup almost. I would say. One bay leaf. I always laugh at this packs the flavor that it, it does. I, it's funny. You'll take that out later, but for now, it's going out. And oh, I didn't tell you, um, there's one tablespoon of olive oil in here that I saw these of the uh, onions and the ground beef. Okay. Then we're adding one cup of shredded cabbage. I'm kidding. I'm doing it. I don't remember. I'm doing it. Yeah. Then we are adding one and a half cups of sliced carrots. Going in. One can of white. You can use navy bean. I ha I happen to have low sodium pinto beans in there. That's what they look like. I'm good with it. I'm not picky about beans. I honestly think for the most part they taste the same. They just look different. That's just me. So a can of that with uh, dried pasta. It says pasta of your choice or rice. So I had some penne that was given to me in a gift basket. And it was the exact amount that I needed for this recipe. So fate? I don't know. Alright. Yeah. The last and final ingredients are I went to Trader Joe's and I got some fire roasted tomatoes. Um, crushed tomatoes, 28 ounces. So whatever your choice is, 28 ounces. We have four cups of water. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this water to the tomato can so that I can get all the tomato flavor that I can get out of here. The only other direction on here is that you will cook it for an hour. You bring it to a boil, you cook it for an hour. And then you sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese and any other desired seasonings. So, you know me. Okay. I like a little bit of heat. So, crushed red pepper. I'm just adding a little bit. I'm going to add it now. Just a little. Just to give it a little zing. And then, for Christmas, I also got this really awesome, this is so cool this uh, from Italy. Uh, it was uh, some Sicilian uh, oregano. So I've tried every chance I could get to use a little bit of it in every Italian recipe that I have. <laughs> so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. It just sounds so good to me and it smells amazing. The minute you open it, 
fantastic. It looks like beforehand, there it is. Can you see it? Smell the vision. Okay. And hi everyone. All right. So my minestrone soup is been cooking. It was supposed to cook for one hour um, and simmer. I unfortunately let it go a little bit longer um, because like halfway through it seemed like there wasn't enough liquid so I did add two more cups of water to it I just let you let you know that um, so I'm gonna increase that water it wasn't right and then um, I got a little distracted you know how it is and and um, I think I overcooked it just a little bit um, the macaroni is probably a little bit too soft but I'm sure that if you cook it at the proper time, one hour, it doesn't do that. So uh, I'm sure it's still going to taste good though. So we're, I'm going to try it. So here we go. I'm going to dish it out here. And, and look, I mean, it smells so amazing. It really does. There's a little extra broth in there. You can see it. See that? smell of vision <laughs> And the directions say that you should sprinkle it with some cheese, Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to do that. I already added a little bit of my chili pepper. Okay, so there's that. See, there's the finished product right there. All right. So let's see how this tastes. It really does smell good. Mm. This is very good. It's very mild. Yeah, I think if I, you know, hadn't been doing other things, you know, the macaroni would have been al dente like it should have been. Hmm. So good. It's spicy. It's got a little spice. You know, macaroni was a little soft, but this is very good. And did you see how incredibly easy that was? I mean, you brown the meat and the onions and you throw everything in the pot and you let it boil for an hour. And like I said, I would add a little more uh, water. I'm going to, I'll put it in the recipe correctly when I put it on there for you. But family recipe, minestrone soup. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Baker on the dark side. Subscribe.